7th of December 1941, a day which lives in infamy. A day because of the Japanese surprise attack on Pearl Harbor that we always remember, but which we also remember because of the way certain people were scapegoated, and they really were. Husband E. Kimmel is a good example. He was the CNC Pacific Fleet. Now, you will hear of him as the person who's blamed for the battleships all being in rows and all those things that happened there, but actually he'd been trying to keep the fleet out at sea. He had listened to the advice of his predecessor, Richardson, who'd been dismissed for arguing too forcefully with the White House that Pearl Harbor was not a safe place to store a fleet, that Pearl Harbor was not a good place to be, and that the Japanese were a bigger threat than they were. But the, uh, the White House dismissed them because that didn't serve their needs, because politically they couldn't back down from Pearl Harbor. So Richardson kept the, as much of the fleet at sea as he could, but on the Day of Infamy... He had the battleships all in, and that's what he's remembered for, not for trying to keep them out of sea and keep them safe. 